This is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing the monthly patron pack openings here. The channel is funded entirely through Patreon and it's individuals like you that help make this channel possible. If you join on Patreon at a $2 level or above, I do a one-time pack opening for you on the channel. Um, I am going to open packs anyways, and I would rather open them and give the cards away. I have a lot of fun doing these and have gotten a few good cards in the past. I also tend to throw in some fun stuff if I've got anything interesting uh, around here that I can add to them. We've got five individuals who joined the channel last month. Uh, Mark, Cameron, Jason, Thomas, and Ian. Uh, I'm going to be opening a pack of Shadows over Innistrad for each of them. I'm gonna talk about what I would grab from each of those packs for draft. Each individual is also getting two of the angel tokens. Uh, I still got a pretty good amount of this second printing left. Sam Kaiser's artwork is amazing on these. I'm very happy with this second printing on them. Um, I'm also adding in a few tokens from the original art um, project. The, these are public domain art tokens that were recently on Kickstarter. They're very cool. And then I opened a pack of Portal Three Kingdoms and a French pack of Revised recently. So I've been throwing in some of those cards. The last thing that I've got here to throw in is kind of up there at the top of the frame, which is a Modern Masters pack. I'm going to open one for fun and then I'm going to randomly distribute the cards between each of the packs for or each of the giveaway groups for the new patrons. So thank you guys so much for the supporting the channel. I'll be doing another one of these mid next month. Uh, let's go ahead and hopefully open some really cool stuff here. Good luck, Mark. This has been a fun set, uh, especially to draft. Inquisitor's Ox, two five. Silent Observer, 1-5 Flyer, not actually that bad for clogging up the air. Uh, survive the Night, target creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains indestructible. Fun little combat trick. Gone Missing, put target permanent on top of owner's library. Plus you get investigate out of this. Five casting costs, sorcery speed. This is an effect I usually like, but the cost here is just so high. It really depends on the deck. Uh, reduced to Ash. Reduced to Ash deals five damage to target creature. If that creature dies, exile it instead. It is five casting costs, though. Rabid Bite. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. In a lot of decks, this is just removal. Alms of Vain. Target opponent loses three life and you gain three life and it's got madness. Fun in a madness deck if you can get enough of the discard going on. Otherwise, not so good. Dual Shot. Confront the Unknown. Investigate. Then target creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each clue you control. Lightning Axe as an additional cost to play it. Discard a card or pay five. Lightning Axe deals five damage to target creature. This is solid removal. It is six casting costs most of the time though. Although if you've got a lower curve, you end up just discarding land. I actually really like this card, especially in your super aggressive decks. Pick the Brain, very cool artwork there. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it and exile that card, but it's three casting costs. Delirium though, if there are four or more card types amongst those in your graveyard, search that player's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name. Not so good in limited. Oh, Call of the Bloodline. Discard a card, put a black vampire creature token onto the battlefield with lifelink. This is probably my first pick. An amazing card in limited. I did really well with this at the pre-release. I've had this card twice also otherwise, and in the right deck, this is a powerhouse. Ah, Trista Decaphobia. Very, very cool. 
fun card. I did a whole video on this. This is probably the best flavor card in the entire set. Congratulations, Mark. Not a huge money card, but a really, really cool card. Excellent. Fun way to start this off. Uh, we got Neglected Heirloom here as the flip card, your checklist card, and an insect. Solid fun way to start things off. Trista Decaphobia. Wish they put so much into more cards like this. Just a really cool card. Okay, Cameron, you're up next. Let's see what we've got here. Double Thorn Th Fox. For Homunculus. Angelic Page. Stallion of Ashmouth. Got Delirium going on there. Um, explosive. Clip Wings. Solid sideboard card. Rotten Ghoul. Murderous Compulsion. Great removal. Very, very solid. Probably in my top two to three picks. Fury Temper. Very, very solid. Oh, why do these have to be in the same pack? I would love to pick this pick one and then this pick two and go for that madness deck. Mm, trial of Evidence. Magnifying Glass, not on my favorites list. Inner Struggle. Solid removal, not great, but good. Corrupted Graph Stone. And we've got the Gargoyle here. So the Corrupted Graph Stone is our rare Solid color fixing, second or third pick for a multicolored deck. Um, I like the card a lot in limited, not a great constructed card. A playable card though for EDH. Decent card there. Uh, first pick though, I'm probably going with one of the removal, probably the murderous compulsion. Um, I really like the madness decks overall. Okay, we're moving on to Jason here. Good luck, Jason. Another fox here. Moculus. Shard of Broken Glass. Skeleton, return him to your hand. I actually kind of like this guy. Drifter, not terrible. Vampire Noble, 3-2 three, for 3, decent. Duelist, haste here is not bad at all, especially for an aggressive deck. Fork in the Road, search your library for up to two basics. This is a decent ramp card. Zombie here is okay. Corpse Trawler. Pale Rider of Trollstrad. Uh, solid card. Um, I played this in the Madness deck. Fleeting Memories. You gotta have a lot of clues to really make this work. Tireless Tracker. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put plus one, plus one on it. Clearly the first pick here. This can get giant. This can get you a huge number of extra cards. Solid way to get some card draw in a green deck. Not bad stats either, a three, two for two. That just gets bigger and bigger. Oh, we've got the 2-1 Flipper here in the Hinderland Logger. A uh, decent card also. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast, you transform it, and it becomes your 4-2. So very solid. Trample helps a lot. Oh, it looks like we've also got a Sage of Ancient Lore here. That's another very good card. Sage of Ancient Lore's power and toughness equal the number of cards in your hand. When Sage of Ancient Lore enters the battlefield, draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if no spells were cast, flip it. Then it has Vigilance and Trample. And it's equal to the total number of cards in all players' hands. I actually like this card in EDH. Fun card. Okay, limited card. It really depends on what you're playing against. If you've got somebody with a bunch of clues and a very slow deck, you can actually have a pretty good amount of power on this. 
Um, if you're playing against an aggro deck and you've got a lower curve, not so great. Checklist card here and a clue. Solid pack there, double rare. Flip rare and a regular rare. Moving on to the next one for Thomas. Good luck, Thomas. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Okay, we've got Stitch Mangler here. Explosive, expose evil. Okay, sideboard card. Deny existence. Intrepid prisoner. Dead weight. Solid one casting cost removal. Vessel here. Got dire swine. Macabre Waltz, return two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, then discard a card. I like this in the Madness deck. Probably not in the top five picks, but it's one of those cards that's gonna come all the way around and can be useful. Tooth Collector, just a very cool piece of art there. I like the concept behind this card. Three, two, knocks your opponents down. Tenacity. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, gain life link until end of turn, and untap those creatures. This is an amazing combat trick. Uh, this is a solid second or third pick for me uh, for the right deck. Murderous Axe, plus two, plus two, equip, discard a card. Very nice in the Madness deck, especially since those decks tend to have a smaller curve. Mind Rack Demon, Flying, Trample, enters the battlefield, put the top five cards of your library into your graveyard. With Delirium, you lose four life unless there are four or more types of cards among them in the graveyard. Uh, four five flyer for four, cannot complain about this at all. This is definitely your first pick. Tenacity is up there a ways, and I actually like the Tooth Collector a lot. Got an uncommon here in the Accursed Witch. Spells your opponent cast to target the witch. Costs one less, four two for four. When a Cursed Witch dies, return it to the battlefield transformed and under the control attached target opponent. So this is a, a curse, an aura curse enchanted Enchant player, spells you cast that target enchanted player, costs one less to cast. At the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep, that player loses a life and you gain one. Very interesting design on a card. A lot going on there. Zombie token. So Minerack Demon, Tenacity, Tooth Collector. Those are some of my top picks out of that pack. Okay, good luck, Ian. Let's pull something cool here. Okay, Puncturing Light, Silent Observer, Inspiring Captain, True Faith Sensor, Rush of Adrenaline, what a great name for a card. Plus two, plus one, and Trample until end of turn. Rabid Bite, Alms of the Vein, Reduced to Ash, Informed to the Unknown, Rooting Woods, now we've got some color fixing here. This would actually be in the earlier picks. So little color fixing in the set. Destroy target attacking creature and you gain three life for four casting cost. Silver Strike is up there in my early picks, definitely. The Blob here is an interesting rare. Um, with Delirium, whenever it attacks, if there are four or more card types amongst those in your graveyard, put a 3-3 three, three green o ooze creature token onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. If you get this out early with a piece of removal in your hand to back it up, you can just take over the game. Clearly my first choice. Uh, Silver Strike is probably up there in my top three also. Oh, we've got the Tapper here. Town Gossip Monger can turn into a 2-3 very quickly. I like this card in Limited a lot also. It's probably my top five picks. Fun artwork there. Excellent. We've got some decent cards. Nothing amazingly broken, but some good stuff for Limited. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna open this Modern Masters pack also, 
and randomly distribute the cards to people who helped me out here on the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Let's hope for something amazing like a foil goif. I still have yet to open a goif in any Modern Masters packs. I've drafted a lot of these too. I think it's actually the best thing to do with these boxes is to draft them, get together some friends, pick up a box of Modern Masters or Modern Masters 2, and just draft the whole box. Shaman's not bad. Thieving Sprite is decent. I like the Fairies deck. Veteran Armor. There's so many good archetypes. This is just a well done draft set. Got a nice changeling there, the Shapeshifter. Face Falter for the Goblins deck. Traumatic Visions. I really actually like this card a lot, just because it's got the basic land cycling on it. Five casting cost counter spell, not usually good, but color fixing is nice. Walker of the Grove. Perilous Research. Saltfield Recluse. Uh, Street Wraith. Another nice cycler there. Vivid Crag. Thundercloud Shaman. A 4 4 here. Very, very solid card. There's definitely a deck that uses the Giants. Electrolyze. Ooh, that is a great modern card. That is a wonderfully powerful card. Draw two, no, draw a card, do two damage, divide it however you want. Three cast a cost, instant. This is one of my favorite cards out there. I play this a lot in modern. I wish it was legacy playable. It's almost legacy playable. Kakusho, a little bit of a rougher one there, but still a very fun EDH card, has some solid value to it. And the rare here, what do we got? Stir the Pride. Well, I'm gonna be mixing these up and randomly sending them out to uh, the patrons here. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. We got a lot of great videos coming up. Um, I recently ended up getting a magic tattoo and I should have a video um, of that up on the channel very soon. Wizards put together a giant amount of announcements in one day. You'd think if they had five announcements, they might want to spread that over five days, but no, one day of crazy announcements. I'm going to be responding to those. And on the legal side, I'm actually working on a um, response to the Klingon copyright case. Uh, so I will have that up over on my other channel. And I'm working on a strategy video over for Meeples Included uh, on Aquasphere, uh, another wonderful Euro game. Thank you guys so much for supporting in the channel. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.